Welcome to the DTR650 programming video. Once you've downloaded and installed the free DTR650 programming software, this is the opening screen that you'll see. We've included a link to download this in the video description below. First we're going to give a brief overview of the software menus and icons. Under the file menu, there's New, Open, and Recent Programming and there's also an exit to exit out of the software. Under edit, if you go and click on preference, it brings up the auto detect com port, which is important because this will be how your computer recognizes the cable and the radio that you're plugging in if this is clicked. Under the help menu, if you click on content and index, this is a great place to get your questions answered and also for troubleshooting. Now, let's start programming a radio. Let's hook up our radio and click read. After the radio is read, it says reading successful, click OK. Under the DTR radio information, you have the unit private ID, the name for that radio, the firmware version, and the code plug version for that particular DTR650. Under the contacts, you have the maximum number of contacts that you can have in this radio, which is 150. Also, the current number of contacts already in the radio, which is 6. If you click on the private, this is where you can program the radio to make one-to-one -one calls with others. To add additional privates, click the Add button at the top of the screen, or to delete, click the Delete button. We're going to go ahead and look at this particular radio. You can see up top the name for the radio. Next you can see the channel, which is selected, is Channel 1. There are 10 channels to choose from. This is the radio ID. The name field can be filled out basically as a caller ID for that particular radio as the ID number for the radio does not change. This is useful when assigning particular radios to a certain individual. If you don't wish to use a person's name, you can also use generic names like Radio 1 and Radio 2. If a home group is selected for your radio, then it will return to that group after 30 seconds of inactivity. Enabling group only hides all private contacts so that the user can receive a private call but not initiate one. You can have up to 12 unique ringers. The private scroll list enables you to select which users or groups are available for this radio. Next we're going to look at the private groups. To add a new private group, click on the Add button at the top of the screen. Select the name of the group. In this one we're going to put Operations and we're going to leave it on Channel 1. By leaving this on Channel 1, you'll see all of the users that are currently programmed to that channel. Because channel 1 is selected, Jane is in the list of available radios. There are no other members listed for channel 1. Next we're going to public groups. It comes with five public groups pre-programmed into the radio. Let's rename Public Group 1, All Call. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the other public groups. Under the Settings tab, there are a few key features that are very important to remember. The first checkbox is VibraCall. This is to allow your radio to vibrate. 
the next or volume settings. This is great for high noise areas when you need the radio to be loud. Next is the checkbox at the bottom which is very important. Disable internal push to talk with accessory. This is checked by default. Some accessories do not include a built-in push to talk. In that case you'll have to use the push to talk that's built on the radio itself and uncheck this box. The DTR650 comes with the ability to use pre-programmed text messages. You can pre-program up to 25 text messages. Here are a few examples. To add your own text message, click Text Messages and Add at the top tab. We're going to put Job Completed. To add, click a different text message. And as you can see, Job Completed has been added. Once you have made your adjustments, click right to program the radio. Now we're going to go over how to use a single programming file to program multiple radios. We're going to open an existing programming file that we have named John Doe. You can see here that John Doe's ID is different than the previous Jane Doe. To add Jane's radio, click the Add button. Change the name to Jane Doe and enter Jane's radio ID number. Once you have entered all of the radio ID numbers and all of the settings have been adjusted, attach each radio and click the right button at the top of the screen. The software is intelligent enough to know which radio is connected. This concludes our basic radio programming guide for the Motorola DTR650. If you have any questions, be sure to access the help guide included in the software or give us a call here at Amerizon Wireless.